Here in the Malaysian Cocoa Boards Plantation, near the town of Temelo, they harvest over 100 hectares of cocoa trees every year. But first, they have to grow the trees. The tiny seeds are planted in bags filled with the coarse, damp soil they need to grow. After a few days, the seeds begin to sprout. And after four weeks, they've shot up to 30 centimetres. But it still takes three years for these seedlings to grow into trees and start bearing fruit. Extracting the seeds is also done by hand. The seeds inside were once used as currency. One would buy a tomato, four a pumpkin, and if you really wanted to flash your cash, 100 would get you a turkey. As the local wildlife will tell you, the slippery membrane may taste sweet, but the seeds inside are hard and extremely bitter. Turning them into a tasty treat means leaving them to ferment in vats for six days. This breaks down the bitterness and starts to release the essential chocolate flavours. After just the right amount of fermentation, they're laid out in the sun, slowly drying out the unwanted skin and leaving behind raw, dark cocoa beans, ready to be turned into chocolate. To bring out the chocolatey flavour, these nibs are roasted for half an hour. This develops the aroma, but transforming them into something more appetising means a go in the grinder. Grinding releases the fat inside, and out comes a river of molten cocoa, known as cocoa liquor. To make fine chocolate, this liquor will have to be ground several more times and then mixed with sugar and emulsifiers to produce a solid block of dark chocolate. But of course, not everyone likes dark chocolate. So how do they turn this rich liquor into milk and white chocolate? The solution? Squeeze the living daylights out of it. In this press, the largest of its type in the world, huge hydraulic rams compress the liquor. Out pours cocoa butter. Mixing this with the cocoa liquor, milk and sugar creates milk chocolate, and leaving out the liquor gives you white chocolate. What's left behind are slabs of dry cocoa solids, used in anything from chocolate drinks to cakes. <laughs>